Welcome back everyone to another episode Let's Play Let It Die. Now, in the previous episode we were getting into uh, materials and uh, single material floors. And I'm gonna continue with uh, hunting materials in this episode. And uh, maybe completing a couple of quests too. Let's have a look at the store and see if use any of the materials we found uh, to upgrade something. Welcome back. Okay, you find a lot of armor, especially uh, once you first um, once you first got it in its first uh, iteration, uh, when it's not leveled up yet, will cost uh, mostly cloth, like only cloth to uh, level up. Once it's upgraded to like plus four, It'll start costing uh, all kinds of other materials. Uh, let's see now. The DIY attack coat costs uh, one piece of cotton to level up. So I'll probably be able to level up uh, pretty quickly on this. The DIY attack head requires two waste oil now to level up to its uh, plus four. I can level up the metal bat because I picked up some uh, alu uh, aluminium scraps. Can do that. Uh, and of course, because these uh, equipment is still low in upgrade, it doesn't cost that much time to uh, to complete. But that'll get that'll get a lot more as we uh, continue on. In fact, it'll start getting kind of ridiculous pretty soon. Um, let's see. I think I'll sell you. Uh, nice. Cool coins for you. It's a good idea to sell things. Uh, Sell weapons and armor that are like almost broke. You know, you can choose to get a, a couple more hits out of them, or you could just sell them for, uh, for a bit of cool coins. Uh, what do I want? Let's check the uh, go to sell. Ch sell the storage chest. You can uh, you can sort your items out uh, in this menu as well in the sell menu. So I'm gonna press square to sort it. Okay, so everyone's uh, neatly in a row now. So I've got the steel soldier pants uh, salvaged and two storable items. I haven't got any, I haven't unlocked any blueprints to make some uh, trousers armor yet. So I'd like to find one of those soon. Uh, I think I'll buy another metal bat, why not? Okay, I've got a good amount of uh, healthy weapons to bring with me. A little bit of healing items, some armor. We're good to go. Let's go and uh, hand in... Did I complete some quests? Just gonna check my quests. Data, mastery level is constantly changing. The quests, accepted. That is a, a check mark in the, uh, the the top right corner the box when you've completed a quest. So these two are completed. Candle of blue and a, uh, a death metal. That's cool. I'll turn those in just quickly. Majin's got some more tips. Talk to him in a minute. Ice cream machine? Mm hmm. Sorry, it's broken. Ugh, like my boyfriend's mind. Wonderful. Okay. Any more quests I can pick up? Doesn't look like it. Got all the quests available in difficulty one. There's a. Uh, there's different difficulties to quests. Uh, pressing R1 and L1, you can toggle through the difficulty of quests. Uh, there's a lot of quests available at the moment, which. Uh, wouldn't otherwise be there. They're, uh, they're for the, the event which is going on right now. So all these, uh, these calendar icons, those are all uh, limited uh, time quests that I'm going to uh, abstain from uh, picking up against some uh, unfair advantage. Uh, for people um, playing through and not doing this event. Yeah, 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 sure, I can talk now. I, I can beat this guy with my eyes closed. Here, I'll give you a tip. Yeah, your eyes are open. Uh, lock on and center camera. Okay, so this is a tip I 
I do not understand why they give you this tip so late. I don't understand why they do it through the Mage and Tips uh, option. This seems like a real core function of the game mechanics to me. This is lock on, the lock on button, which is R3. Hey, did you know you could lock on? Okay. Some people like to use it, some don't. Uh -huh. uh, I always use it when I've got a ranged weapon to aim, but if you're surrounded, switch it off. Got to be adaptable. If there's nothing to lock onto, then R3 just resets the camera. Try it out. No idea why they explain that to you this Things late. Just getting started. <laughs> In fact, I think R3 was the first button I pressed um, when I saw the first enemy I encountered in the game. Okay. So we've got our quest rewards showing up in our reward box. And again, we can leave them here as long as we want. We don't have to pick them up right now. Reward box can store up to 50 items. Uh, it, can, it can store more than 50 items, but it won't let you do certain things if your reward box is full. It won't let you raid people in Tokyo Death Metro. It won't let you send out expeditions or climb up the tower if your reward box is over uh, capacity. I believe we're good to go. Okay, we could explore the side routes now, but I'm actually going to pop into Tagahara quickly, floor 4, to pick up uh, a couple of materials there. So in the previous episode I mentioned uh, single material floors, and that every floor has a uh, a specific type of materials that can show up on that floor, that'll always be the way. So you have certain floors with no materials, where you only find uh, treasure boxes and uh, and no resources, no, no material resources. You'll find uh, beasts and shrooms, of course. Uh, there are floors with a mix of materials, where you'll find all types of materials. The floor we're on now, which is a floor right after the uh, Cohen boss fight, uh, is a uh, metal only type floor which is uh, the uh, iron scraps are a resource you'll be requiring a lot of uh, for many uh, for many upgrades actually the uh, the iron uh, type material is uh, very much used in uh, in upgrading lots of things so knowing you can come to this floor uh, exclusively to farm it is a uh, good thing. Nice. I thought I had a quest uh, for Gortastic, but uh, already completed it. Oi. There we go. So, I am spending the durability of this weapon by attacking screamers with it. And still need my weapons breaking. However, as we go on, uh, every kill I get with it will increase its uh, mastery level. It's a iron scrap. And as its mastery level increases, it'll gain more uh, bonus attack strength, making it easier to kill enemies still. Another iron scraps. Do I want this? Bye bye, froggy. I got the heart shroom. Uh, different beasts have different healing values, and uh, typically the further up the tower you get, the better beasts you'll find that'll heal for more health. The frog, being the first beast you encounter in the game, heals you for the least amount of uh, health. Bam! With the uh, delayed uh, third combo attack there. Also, um, mastery level increases with attack power increase too. And I think that makes a lot of difference, uh, especially this early in the game. Okay, so I can see a, a, an orb of uh, Splithium lying around. That means the hater has been taken out by the seamers. Another move. Come on, guys. Red hot iron, I'm just gonna leave that there. Got enough weapons on me. 
Okay, parasol shroom. Sells for kill coins. I'll need this parasol shroom and see what happens. Okay, doesn't really recover health. Gives him a bit of experience though. I wonder what that is. Now, this, uh, when you go across this uh, room, it'll become clear that the game has a lot of, uh, a lot of acrobatics uh, to deal with as well. Like you'll see, uh, you have to uh, run and jump and uh, balance over certain things and climb up and uh, fall down objects. Uh, also, uh, fall damage. Here we go. It's quite bad. There's quite a lot of damage to be gained from uh, falling off the things uh, in Lighter Dive. So you've definitely got to be careful about that. It's a very easy way to get uh, to, to die. One. Do I still have the quest to defeat 10 enemies in a row using the vessel? I do, don't I? Okay. No. Damn. So there's no knockback on uh, the bustle knuckles, but you do get a bit of a uh, knockback on the uh, on the iron bat. Might be a good weapon to knock people off uh, off cliffs. Sometimes mushrooms spawn around here or over here. But there's none here this time. Here's one. Oh, great. A uh, boom shroom. Got a quest for that. Even if you don't need the mushrooms or beasts, it might be a good idea to pick them up just because you have them, uh, have a quest for them. No, you're ruining my fun, you. I want to finish these guys off with the gold plastic. Okay, so aside from being a uh, iron-only floor, uh, floor four uh, Tagahara also has a uh, stamp machine in it. So we'll go ahead and use this. Boy, oh, I missed that one. I was pressing the X button though, so uh, looks like you have uh, as many um, as many tries as there are uh, targets to hit. Yeah, I thought you could uh, you could just spam the X button. I was mistaken. So you don't really need to get the uh, you don't really need to get the stamps perfectly done. They'll still count, uh, they'll still be added to your, uh, your Rolodex. Uh, where is it? Stamp, probably. So yeah, we've got the stamp on floor 1, floor 2, and floor 4. So we're missing floor 3. Um, we'll have to go and look for that. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if you miss, uh, if you fail completely in collecting the stamp. It'll still show up uh, in your uh, stamp rally. Okay, so we've got a couple of iron scraps. I thought I saw some more lying around here somewhere. There's usually some lying on these, uh, on this walkway here. Oh, if you pop. Any uh, scraps here? No, none up there. Mm-hmm. 
checking the map. Uh, looks like uh, this area I haven't explored yet, so let's go and have a see. Go on. Oh, you. What a dodge. What a champion. Okay. So uh, this game has fire in it, and uh, if you stand in the fire, you uh, catch fire and take damage. Fire also does uh, armor durability damage, so you gotta uh, watch out for that. Because if you're wearing armor and you catch fire, that that's uh, that's quite a few points of uh, of uh, damage you'll take. Is this water? No, this is not water. Is there water nearby? Well, uh, realistically, you can uh, you can put yourself out if you're on fire by getting into uh, getting into water. Just uh, heal up a little. Did I just kill those guys using the iron bat? I'm never gonna get this quest done for killing 10 enemies in a row using the bustle. Just keep forgetting I'm working on that. Come on. That's perfect guard. So if you time a guard properly. They get, they get knocked back, and you'll see the damage numbers be uh, zero. So it takes zero damage for these. Uh, some weapons are easier to perfect guard than others. I was a bit late on that one. So I hit. Oh, that's all one broke. Oh no. Did I kill someone without the bustle? And that quest is going to be tough to get done. Uh, Generally, it's not as efficient to try and get perfect guards on enemies. Uh, if you mess up, it's not worth it. It's better to just try and dodge everything and uh, and just like run out of the way of things. And uh, if you have to, um, blocking also uh, also reduces a ton of damage. So I take this elevator up, uh, escalator. I mean. It won't lead to a uh, room with an elevator on, because it's veering off to the right on the map. Um, let's go and look over here first. Oh. Hello. Well, that was a, a lucky fall, a lucky mistake. I found some uh, materials while I uh, was clumsy. Okay, so you've got... Uh, a secret area here. The game has quite a few uh, like hidden hidden rooms like this. If you uh, if you take a look on your map, you can usually see uh, you can usually see what the floor uh, the floor layout often uh, betrays uh, hidden areas like this. And there's still an area that I haven't discovered over there. Quickly here and check it out. Scratch metal. I'd recommend picking up every bit of um, uh, tuber uh, materials, like uh, all of the scratch tubers, hovering tubers that you defeat. Uh, pick up their uh, materials straight away, because yeah, um, that's uh, uh, RNG dependent. So. Not a guaranteed drop rate on those guys. So it's uh, there's nothing worse than having to go and farm uh, scratch metal or hovering metal to upgrade the gear. Because it's not as simple as just going to a floor which has uh, which has these tubers available. It's also dependent on uh, the drop chance. Die, die, die. Special weapon two. Okay, how have I only killed two in a row? 
what a weird situation. Am I ever going to get that quest done? Maybe the, um, the rage move uh, messed up the uh, counter a bit. A quick look around for uh, treasure and resources. Nope, none here. They can't spawn in this room. Uh, also, there can be mushrooms up here. Not this platform. This is an alternate way of traversing the room. You can uh, you can take the high road. Cool. Bunch of enemies here. That's more of my uh, quest progress. Hopefully, I don't get my ass kicked and uh, die. I'm not wearing any armor. I'm gonna ignore gore tactics for now. I'm also gonna try and avoid using my rage move because I wanna get the uh I wanna finally get this quest done. Oh come on. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna use the attack shroom. More damage. Also, I think I've yep, yeah, I've unlocked a new uh move. The uh, L1 has become available to me. It's a downward uh, multiple hit effect. It's uh, slightly stronger than the normal uh, the normal attack. Okay, so I've got eight out of the ten defeated for the quest. Down here. Oh, another blueprint. Now, if you go on uh, exploring for a while, it's possible to pick up multiples of the same blueprints. But we'll only know that once we uh, once we go and uh, identify them at the store. Okay, so we've cleared out just about everything on this floor. I think I will uh, head back to the waiting room. be quite a long run back. To the left we have to go. Did find a good amount of uh, iron scraps though. Again this floor has uh, it's an iron only floor so it gives you oh wrong way. It gives you only uh, iron resources. So, uh, farming uh, iron scraps, this is the floor you need. Floor 4. Froggy. Give me a kiss. Uh, yeah, I can use this now. Let's well have a look at all of the uh, drops from the enemies. Now that I've uh, expended some of my equipment, I could definitely use it. You could probably climb faster uh, in the tower than I'm fa uh, climbing now, but I'm doing I'm kind of doing everything at the same time. I'm getting all the quests done, uh, farming materials, and uh, making uh, progress in the tower simultaneously. But you can choose to uh, to really uh, focus on on either of these. So you can uh, you can like ignore quests and focus on making vertical progress in the tower. Just uh, running past enemies and uh, getting as high as you can. 
But uh, resources you get from the quests uh, do come in handy, especially the uh, death metals. In fact, I'm going to go with another uh, two death metals, so I expand the storage another time. Go and identify these uh, blueprints quickly. Mm. All right. Some research and development completed. So, got some more, some different head armor. Um, I've already got set in mind which weapons and armor I'm going to be upgrading for this playthrough. Uh, the metal bat is one of the weapons I'm going to be uh, relying on. I'm going to start off upgrading the DIY attack uh, armor, but I'm going to move to a different set once uh, once I discover it. I'll keep working on this just to have something. DIY attack uh, armor is pretty solid uh, armor. It doesn't have many uh, weaknesses. It's got one weakness, and for the rest, it's got either neutral uh, resistance or uh, beneficial. You can see the numbers next to the equipment. The top ones, the white numbers, are the three uh, basic damage types in the game. Slashing, blunt, piercing. And the uh, colored ones, fire, uh, electric and poison. Uh, plus the poison means you'll take less damage from poison. I don't believe uh, that means you'll uh, take longer to get poisoned. I think every every time uh, everyone takes equally long to get poisoned, but uh, it means you'll take less damage when you get poisoned. So, so sell some of these uh, event mushrooms. The uh, silver parasol shroom, giving us uh, two thousand uh, kill coins. Uh, go ahead and sell the metal bat that's almost broken. Anything else? No, I think it's good. Gonna store some of this stuff in the storage. Take that out. Still haven't got a blueprint for some uh, leg armor. I uh, hope to get one of those uh, pretty soon. Store you guys. I may actually be able to upgrade something I couldn't before with the uh, with those new resources. Let's Welcome have a look. Back. Oh yeah, the uh, bustle knuckles require iron scraps that I didn't have yet. Also, the iron hammer requires iron scraps, and the combat pickaxe requires veneer plank and iron scraps. But I'm not going to upgrade that. I'm not wasting my uh, wood uh, type materials on this. I'm going to be upgrading another weapon. I could get the bustles uh, upgraded once though. Although I'd be wasting waste oil on that. Now I'm going to keep my waste oil to upgrade my DIY attack head further. Aluminium scraps. Uh, I know of an aluminium only floor. Uh, okay. Well, we've made some uh, progress in gaining materials. Uh, that's a big aspect of the game, once you really get into it, is uh, farming up materials and improving your weapons and armor. Uh, you can get pretty far into the game without relying on that, but uh, eventually you'll run up against a wall uh, where you need better equipment. So it's a good thing to start upgrading uh, early and often. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, see you all in the next one.